Hello, welcome. Welcome to our uh, fourth video on how to build uh, some stairs. Uh, specifically what we're going to be doing, our ultimate goal here is to try to come up with a uh, stringer design. So we know how uh, when we put our stairs together, the, the dimensional number we needed, which is going to be a 2x12, and where to make those cuts into 2x12 in order to accommodate the stairs that we need to put together. So. What we do is we uh, just determine what our height is. Uh, we know what the height is uh, going to be from one floor to the other, and we confirm that our stairs, as are laid out right here with the array that we just did, uh, confirms that it's uh, the proper height. So let's go ahead and erase that dimension. And one thing we want to do with the array is we want to expose the array. The array is kind of like a, a, a dynamic block where we can make additional modifications to it, but uh, we don't really want to do that, and uh, we just want to get rid of the array. And if we go to the explode command, it just takes, it takes us back down to our basic units. This is what we do. We're going to take this line, which is a, a reference line, and we're going to make that a uh, one of the one of the edges of uh, the two by twelve. We're going to use for a stringer, which is going to be for this. And the two by twelve is actually in uh, dimensionally about an inch and a quarter, or I'm sorry, eleven and a quarter inches rather than uh, twelve inches. So it's got uh, that much of a um, of a of a reduction once you go from uh, twelve inches and you plane it down and finish that lumber. So we're going to go to the offset command. We're going to offset it by 11.25. Click on that line. Move it over. So now we have the two edges of our uh, 2 by 12. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. Let's start in the bottom down here. We're going to draw a horizontal line over. And that's going to represent uh, the very bottom of our uh, 2 by 12. Go to the trim command. Trim that up a little bit. And because I didn't uh, reset my layers, I use the, the match properties button over here on our uh, clipboard portion of our home tab. Let's do the same thing at the top. When we get to the top, we want to have a, uh, a, a vertical line here. Oh, I did it again. Match properties. That's a common error in AutoCAD. At least it is for me. Go back to my A walls there so we don't make that mistake again. Go to the trim command, select everything as your trim reference, spacebar, trim out what we don't need. And we don't need this line anymore either. So you kind of get an idea of what our string is going to look like. But what we have here are blocks, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some additional modifications to this. One thing we want to do is draw a line perpendicular to these other lines to that uh, the bottom of our stringer. We're going to take that line and we're going to move it and move it to the end down here. We're going to take this line and we're going to extend it to it. So go to the extend command. Click this as our reference and that line to extend to. And this is going to be a portion of the 2 by 4 we're going to cut out, but or the 2 by 12 we're going to cut out, but we still need to have that much 2 by 12 in order to get to this very point up here. There's a reason why we're doing this. So we're going to take this line again parallel to the yellow line bring this down to the end and, and the very same thing down here is we want to have, be able to have as, as much of a 2 by 12 as we can in order to get this point down here go to the extend command this is going to be our extend reference extend that line to it and now we're almost done some basic dimensions let's go ahead and now we can get on our dimension layer and start doing some dimensions find out what the total length of our 2 by 12 is going to be and hopefully it will be within some sort of dimensional length that's relatively close like 12 feet, 14 feet, 16 feet, 18 or 20 feet so we don't get a whole lot of waste and we're going to uh, dimension those two lines and it looks like it's just below 16 feet which is good and some other things you might want to do uh, since this involves uh, the treads we really don't want those treads so one way to go to get around that is to go to the A-walls layer go to the poly line and start uh, drawing your poly line out in order to show you where the cuts are going to be. Once you do this a couple times, we're going to take our, our blocks that consist of the tread and the risers and start deleting some of these and put in our final dimensions and we should be done. Of course, when we're done with this, we want to be able to put this into a drawing format and we know how to do that by now by going to our uh, A-size layout and making all the changes to our title blocker viewport and everything else. So some more dimensions. We're going to go to our linear dimension. This should be 10 inches. And we'll put that on the proper layer for the next one. Our tread height. Let's change our layer. That should be 6 and 11 16 inches. And so on and so forth. These would be typical dimensions the whole way down. And that 
pretty much completes its design. So that's how you design uh, stairs. The other one goal is you get to our 2x12, which is our stringer. And uh, from here, you uh, create uh, the, the three or four stringers that are needed to put your stairs together. And uh, there you have it. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you again.